Hey, this is Alex, and in this uh, short video, I'd like to share with you how to count to five in Vietnamese. This is going to come in handy in, a late, in later videos when you're going to be asking your lady a couple you know, personal questions like how many brothers does she have, how many sisters does she have, uh, how long has she been, you know, how many years has she been doing something like, um, you know, a particular hobby or something, all right? So we're going to do this as at least as two-part video, which is how to count through one through ten. This is part one, we're going to do one through five. Well, here, these are like the Vietnamese pronunciation, and this is the, the uh, numeric representation of it, all right? So one through five, okay? So we'll get started here shortly. But first, how would you like an ongoing supply of free reports, helpful resources, and unique cultural insights for meeting, dating, and marrying a Vietnamese woman? Too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll never miss out again. So here, get to some ground rules. I know you're probably tired, uh, you know, especially if you see my other videos, you probably heard me mention this more than once, all right? Which is this, is Vietnamese is, gonna, is a tonal language. Again, some of these sounds are gonna sound a little bit higher and lower than others. So I'm gonna point this out as we do this, okay? So again, these are the numeric representation of the numbers we're gonna be counting. One, two, three, four, and five. Vietnamese, the representation, all right? So I'll, I'll do one at a time, okay? Một. All right, now, one thing, up, so let, let me read the whole thing, I'll break down each one of these, okay? Một, hai, ba, bốn, năm. All right, so let's start with the first one, which is number one, all right? So, một. You'll notice this is a dot, that dot is associated with this word, it's O. It brings the word, it brings the, the when you have a dot below an, uh, uh, a vowel, you, you're, the, uh, the intent is that you're pronouncing the entire word lower, okay? Without this, it'd be mode, all right? With this is mode. You notice how my, my voice drops significantly? This is, as I said, what makes Vietnamese tonal, all right? Mode. This one, there's no, you know, for lack of a better word, there's no modifier, right? So it just says high, okay? Now, let me point Let me point out a couple of things. If I had, I'm just saying, you know, theoretically, if I had this thing here above it, it would be high versus high. High, like, you know, high in English means two in Vietnamese. High, which is the highest sound version of that word, means to pluck something, like to pluck a tree, you know, to pluck a fruit from a tree, all right? If you put another thing up here like this, it's called high which is a common name for, uh, which is a common name in, in Vietnamese for a man. Okay? So like this, all right? Then, if you have this, it's high, which really doesn't mean anything. So there's different ways of pronouncing, there's different ways of pronouncing the same word in Vietnamese, depending on what it is. Fortunately, this one doesn't have any modifiers, so it literally just means high, like, you know, H-I in English. So that's probably the easiest one to remember. Bye means three. It also means dad in a different context, but for the purpose of this conversation, it means three, right? Pretty easy. B-A. Not ba, it's ba. All right, so Vietnamese has a lot of influence from French, and if you, if you ever studied French in high school or junior high, you recall that the French alphabet, the letter A is pronounced as A versus A in English, right? That's where the word we have word pronounced called, that's where the pronunciation ba comes from, right? B-A, ba. Bone is four, okay? Now again, this has this little thing above it, right? If we didn't have this, it would pronounce bone, like, you know, in English, bone. But because we have this, it's pronounced bone, it's much higher sound, okay? So, bone, four. Nam is five. Now again, this thing has a half crescent. That means that we pronounce the word a lot faster with a much more clip rate. If I didn't have this, it would be pronounced Nam, which is, you know, the second portion of the, the name of our country, right? Nam. In English, we ha you have this as well. It's just not as, how do I put this? It's not as well, um, it's not as explicit. Let me, let me use why, let me, uh, let me use an example that you may re uh, relate to. The word leave and live, right? Leave as in leave the room, live as in like to live. Right, so one's got a, 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 a longer, it's called a long sound versus the short sound. That's what we're doing here. This makes the word pronounced faster. Nam, okay, versus nam, 
you see the difference how like one word is stretch out like leave versus live you see so that's what we call a short sound versus a long sound right i believe that's what in my tutoring days that's what they called it okay so these are the different things that make vietnamese a little bit tricky because it, it changes how the word is pronounced you know here's the good news all right i always tell people this when they're first learning vietnamese is english for the most part is very tricky for non-native speaker because the pronunciation if you grow up with it you don't really pay much attention because you kind of just memorize it for non-native speaker it is extraordinarily difficult because the words don't really follow a pattern this may seem a little bit odd as you're first learning it but here's the good news vietnamese like pretty much all asian languages how it's written is how it's pronounced once you study these sounds that's it you can pr you pretty much read an entire newspaper with almost no exception that is not the case with English, all right? So the good news is that these right here may seem a little bit odd to you initially, but once you get the hang of it, or at least a close approximation of it, pretty much, you, if I swap out another, you know, a, a constant in front of this, the rest is gonna pronounce the same, right? Because these sounds don't change depending on how it's, how it's used. Whereas in English, that's, that's different. I'll give you an extreme example. Record and record. To a non-native speaker, that makes no sense, right? You have the same word, but how are you supposed to pronounce it? Well, it depends on how the word is used. I know what context. One is a noun, one is a verb. You see? So lead and led, again, it you know, there's there's no there's no rhyme or reason that it's pronounced differently. You see, Vietnamese doesn't have anything near that complicated. Alright, so again, that's going off a little bit of tangent. But I, at least I kind of want to put contextualize this. When people first see Vietnamese, they say, why is it so difficult? It's difficult because it's new to you. But once you learn these basic sounds, what I call phonemes, um, the rest of the language is going to be very straightforward. Okay, so let me wrap up here. Uh, so I'm going to keep this video um, uh, short. Is one mold, two high, three by, four bone. Again, remember to go up. Five is nam, not nam. All right, nam is like the south, or you know, basically, or you know, or the name of our country. All right. So this is nam. Okay. Let me repeat again. One is mold. Two, high, three, ba, four, bone, five, nam, okay? Mode, hai, ba, bone, nam. If you're counting down, nam, bone, ba, hai, mode. All right? So, like I said, this is gonna serve as like some foundational stuff for future videos where we're gonna be asking her, like for example, how many, you know, if she has kids, how many kids does she have? If she has siblings, because in many cases, you know, in Vietnam, uh, extended family still live in the same roof. You may want to ask like, how many people are in her family. And if, you know, she comes back and she doesn't know the English equivalent, she may say ba, you know, or nam, and you don't know what that means, then, you know, the conversation won't be as, won't be as pleasant, all right? Or it won't be as um, productive, for lack of a better word, okay? So this is part one of a video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to count from six through ten, all right? So before I wrap up one more time, một, hai, ba, bốn. Nam, nam, bon, ba, hai, bon. All right. So my name is Alex. I enjoyed uh, sharing this with you. And again, just watch this video a couple times, and you know you'll get the hang of this soon, uh, much faster than you may originally, than you may originally thought. All right. When you first hear it, it sounds kind of a little bit alien uh, because it sounds that you're probably not used to. But give it, you know, give it a little bit of time, and it, it will make a lot more sense. As I said in a couple other videos, the good news is Vietnamese. Everything's monosyllabic, so you don't have to like in like in French or God like Greek, where it's like things are like eight or ten syllables long or Thai, which is unbelievably long. Everything in Vietnamese, for the most part, is one syllable. It's just the sounds are a little bit different. All right. So as I'm wrapping this up, I want to say thank you in Vietnamese. All right, which is cảm ơn. All right, notice again two words cảm ơn, and uh, it's been my pleasure to share this with you. Uh, listen to this a couple of times. Practice this. If you have somebody you already, if you already know someone who's Vietnamese, get their feedback on how close you are to getting these sounds, all right? And in the next video, we're gonna share with you part two. So my name is Alex, Vanessa and I enjoy sharing these videos with you, and I would love to hear what your feedback is. And if you like what you're seeing here, please share it with a couple of your friends, and I'll talk to you in the next video.